Hello and welcome to the Chameleon 20. Today we're going to look at how to connect it with our phone. So um, it does to connect to a variety of different devices. It can connect to a phone, a tablet, um, a computer, a Chromebook, all sorts of different devices. It can also be connected via USB or via Bluetooth. Uh, for objects like phones and stuff, obviously Bluetooth is going to be what you're going to need to use. Um, for computers, I usually recommend, because the connection is more stable, that you use a USB cable if at all possible. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on how to connect this to our phones. And, and I'm just going to use an iPhone as, a, a, as our uh, sample device, and it's just my personal one. So right now I'm in the main menu and I need to find terminal mode. So right now I'm focused on editor. Uh, I can use my next thumb key or I can press T for terminal mode, which here it shows it right on the display and it says terminal and I'm going to press uh, enter here. So the first option is going to be uh, use a USB device. Um, then if you hit your next thumb key, it'll give you uh, Bluetooth connections. And if you do your, your thumb key again, you're going to find add um, add a Bluetooth um, device. So I'm going to actually hit enter on that. And what you're going to do now is you're going to take your device and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and unlock it here. Okay. And I'm going to open up my regular Bluetooth settings, which you happen to be uh, focused on here now. So interestingly enough, you don't have to go into voiceover settings to connect this the way you used to have to. Uh, it, it can be done just through um, your Bluetooth settings. So I have my Bluetooth settings open here and I'm going to go down to my new devices here, past all the ones that are already connected, my watch and my uh, and a couple of earbuds. So I'm gonna come back down here to where it says um, other devices. Oh, it says APH Chameleon. Yep, that's what I want. So I'm gonna double tap. So it says connecting and it'll it'll disappear from my other devices here. And then what's going to happen is it's briefly going to display the name of the device that it just uh, that it just connected to on this uh, Braille display here. It's, it's going to be like maybe a three second display. It's still not connected though. So now we still are focused on add Bluetooth device. So we're going to actually go back with the previous thumb key and it's gonna say uh, Bluetooth uh, connections. And we're gonna hit uh, enter. And right here it says Amy's iPhone, which is the name of my device. I'm gonna hit enter. And here we go. So now my phone and my um, chameleon are connected and I can use it in a variety of ways. I can use, uh, I can do a cord H for home. I can use my previous next thumb keys as a way of swiping. Um, it's just giving you just my, just my standard apps on my home screen. You can probably hear it. Um, these are some other Okay, so here there is all my apps. I'm just going back and forth here. Um, there are various uh, Braille display commands that work that are put out by Apple that most of them work. Just one thing to uh, keep in mind that I think is a really good tip is if you are trying to activate an item uh, by double tapping, this enter key does not work to, to uh, double tap on an item. You have to use a cursor routing key or um, another way to uh, double tap an item. I'm just gonna oh, wake my phone up here. There we go. Um, so another way that you can double tap an item is you can hold your cord key and press your dots three and six, and that will activate an item. Um, so you can either do that or um, or uh, cursor routing key. Cursor routing key, any cursor routing key uh, should work. So that's pretty much all that I've got for you today. Is in, 
And this may take a couple of times. And I've got a couple of tips for you for if this does not work as seamlessly as it looked like it was going to. Because in real life, it, it kind of never does. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is ever as smooth as, as we uh, see it in our YouTube videos. And that's because I have the power of editing and starting over multiple times. So in this particular instance, I'm just going to give you some tips here. And I'm, I'm going to give it to you if I can find them. There we go. So probably the first and um, most important tip that if you're chameleon... Um, or your phone, for some reason they're not connecting, it's probably a good idea to restart the chameleon and it's not a bad idea to restart the phone. Um, it works best really to have your settings, before you even start this process, to have your settings open and you and to have uh, voiceover turned on. That usually is, is kind of what I recommend to people because the voiceover is sort of your driver. The, the chameleon really doesn't work uh, well or effectively unless voiceover is running. Um, the other thing is uh, if you want to get out of your terminal mode, you want to disconnect from your phone briefly, all you have to do is press this home button on the front and it will take you out of, of your uh, pairing. The other thing is um, to let you know about really quick is if you are in your settings, uh, your Bluetooth settings, and your Bluetooth connections. It'll list the connections you have, and then what it will do is after that, it'll have a menu item that says reconnect, and what that does is that turns the Bluetooth on the chameleon off and then on again, and sometimes that will reset and make your device discoverable again. But again, this may take multiple times. If you have too much difficulty, put it down, um, if you have the luxury to do so and come back to it later because things like this connecting a device can be extremely frustrating, especially when it doesn't behave the way you think it should. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have questions, you can always put them in the comments or contact us and always feel free to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.